We're starting a new chapter now where we're going to be looking at attributes and tables in our AutoCAD drawings. We've got a new drawing for you that you can download from the library. It's called attributes.dwg. And as usual, download it from the library, open it up to follow along with the videos. So when you open up attributes.dwg, you can see we've got some lines and a circle. These lines and a circle are going to represent a setting out point block that we're going to create with attributes. Now, what you want to do is make sure that you are on layer zero in the layer dropdown. Like before in previous videos, we're going to create everything that makes up the block on layer zero so that when we do drop it into the drawing, it's going to adopt the current drafting layer. Now, before we start working with this, we're going to make sure that we are using the appropriate attributes with the appropriate values before we create the block. To do that, we go to the Insert tab on the ribbon, and you'll notice Define Attributes in the Block Definition panel. So click on Define Attributes. Now, this is really important. Now, these attributes, there are lots of different settings, and you want to make sure that they're set correctly. So our first attribute is going to be the setting out point number. So we need to give it a tag. You cannot have spaces in an attribute tag. So I'm going to class it as SOP and then underscore NO for number. I normally use capitals for my tags as well. Now the prompt there will actually be the question that pops up in the dialog box. So that will be SOP and then the word number and then a question mark. I always put a question mark because it is quite literally a question. And then we'll put a default value in that always shows up. So we'll have SOP001. Now, we want to lock the position of the attribute. And we also want to specify on screen where it's going to go. Now, when we look at our lines here, can you see that this top line here, we're going to use the endpoint of that to place this attribute. So justifying it to the left wouldn't work. It would go from there out that way. So we're going to utilize the bottom right justification point in this case. And the text style, we'll just use standard, which is the Arial font. And the text height, 2.5 millimeters, probably a little bit small for a metric drawing, bearing in mind this is going to be a metric setting out point. So we're going to go for a text height there of 200, like so. And when I click on OK, you'll see there is our attribute ready to go. Now you can see the start point there is on the left hand sort of bottom corner of the attribute. Don't worry about that. If I just click here like so, you'll see that that automatically justifies it when I place it. So basically we're using the bottom right corner here on this setting outline here. So that's one of our attributes in place. We're going to go back to define attributes now. And this time the attribute is going to be invisible and it's going to be the setting out point type. So we're going to give it a tag of SOP underscore type, like so. The prompt will be SOP type, T-Y-P-E, with a question mark. And the default will be SOP space and then circle, because it's a circular setting out point. It's got a circle there. Now, again, we're going to specify on screen Justification this time, if you think about it, it's going to be underneath, so it's going to be to the right, but it's going to be to the top, so we want top right. So we change the justification to top right. Text style again, standard, we'll just use the Arial font. Text height, it's remembered the 200. We do not want to align it below the previous attribute, because that will space it, and we don't want to do that. We want to use that point on the end of the baseline. So quick sanity check, just make sure everything's doing what you want it to do. Click on OK. And again, we come to the end point and we left click. And it drops it in using the top right, you'll notice. Now, the two lines here and here are not needed anymore. They were purely for setting out. So you can see that it's all nicely laid out on the end of our line of our setting out point. So we can now create our setting out point block. So you might want to just roll back a notch on the wheel, just so you can see everything like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the Home tab here on the ribbon. Change our layer now to SOP metric, which will be our current drafting layer. And what we can do now is we can create a block from the block panel on the Home tab on the ribbon. We can do here like so. So we click on Create. 
And what we'll do, we'll call this SOP metric. So you might put a dash and then metric like so. It's entirely up to you. And you might want to possibly put there as well, if you think about it, it's a circular one. So you might want to put SOP metric and then dash and then circle because it's a circle SOP. It's up to you what you call it. Now, we're going to go to the pick point like we've done in previous videos. I'm going to use the center of the circle. If you want to make sure it's a center, just touch on the edge of the circle and there's the center snap. Make sure your object snaps are on for that particular part of the exercise. And there's the X and Y values. Now, the block units are going to be millimeters again because it's a metric drawing, but you do not want to open it in the block editor. So make sure that's unticked. This time, we're going to select the objects, just like we've done before. So we do a crossing selection, make sure we select everything, including the attributes, and then press Enter to confirm. You can see the little preview up there in the little black box. This time, though, we're going to select delete. We're going to delete all the original objects, but the block will be there in the drawing. You'll see why in a moment. Make sure that you can scale uniformly and allow exploding, and it's not going to be annotative, so that needs to be unticked. Click on OK, everything disappears, but don't panic. The block is still in the DWG in the database behind the drawing. All you've done is deleted the original objects. So now, come up to the block panel in the Home tab on the ribbon, and click on insert and you can see there's SOP metric circle that I've created and you get the little preview. Just click on it, comes into the drawing area on the SOP metric layer because we created it on the layer zero. And you can see it's got the default SOP 001 and you cannot see the other attribute. Remember we made it invisible. So I click once and now because I did that delete and getting rid of the original object when I created the block, it now prompts me to edit the attributes. So we've got SOP circle, which would remain the same. And then we might change this value to SOP 999, let's say. You cannot press enter in an edit attributes dialog box. You have to click on OK. And there we are. There is our setting out point block with attributes in our AutoCAD drawing.